Hey, welcome back to the channel. Hamza here, your host as usual. In this video, I want to show you how you can install WordPress on your local computer. And that means that you'll be able to work on your WordPress project locally, even without an internet connection, a host, or even a domain. Also, you'll be able to create a special link that you'll be able to share with your client anywhere at any time so that they will be able to view your WordPress project that you are working on at any point in time. To know how to do that, let's jump straight in and get started. The normal thing you're going to do is create a new tab and you're going to visit a website called localwp.com. This will take you to a website called local. Local is a special software that you can download and install on your computer and start building your WordPress projects step by step. So to download this software, we are going to simply just come over here and say download for free. And then we can choose our platform. I'm using Mac. If you are using Windows or Linux, you can simply choose from the options over here. And then you can enter in your names and details and all that stuff. So, and then I can say get it now. Boom, now it's downloading to my computer. It will take me a couple of minutes and then I'll be good to go. Cool, now once your download is complete, simply open it up and double click over here. This will extract the file. And then I'll be able to drag this into my applications folder. That is for people using Mac. Now, if you're using Windows, you're simply going to install and follow the prompts. And once you're done installing, then you'll be able to actually use the software on your computer. So over here, I'm simply going to drag it to the applications. Once that is done, then you're going to simply command space bar. And you will look up for local, which is now already installed on my computer. Open it up. Cool, now local the application is opening up on my computer. Since I already have previous installs of websites that I've been working on locally, I have these files show up over here. But for you, it will be an empty widget and simply to add a new website, you're going to click over here, add a new, and then you'll name your website that you want to create. In this case, I want to create travel agency website. So I just call it travel agency, or you can simply give it the name of that agency. For example, I can name my company or website travel monster and there is something called advanced options under the advanced options over here you can select and use for example a blueprint a blueprint basically means that you can always use the same wordpress website setup for all other projects that you'll be working on so i don't want to use this as a blueprint i'll just simply say continue and then we have the preferred settings of our server and also you can choose a custom setting. So for example, you can say the PHP version you want to select or the web server and the database. So you have all these options down here, web server, Apache or Unix server and the database. So in this case, I'm going to use the preferred options. I simply say continue. Then over here, you enter in your WordPress admin or username that you'll be using whenever you're logging into your WordPress website. And over here, you have to enter in the password that you'll be using whenever you're logging into your WordPress website. And over here, you enter in your WordPress email address that you, whenever you want to be receiving email updates. So in case you're going to use this website on a multi-site, you have the option under the advanced option to choose as a multi-site, which, which will be under a subdirectory or under a subdomain. In this case, I simply don't want to use it as a multi-site, so I'll simply just add a site. Now what we are doing is basically installing WordPress on our computer. Of course, there are many other softwares that you can use to do this, but this is the most simplistic way to do it without having any technicalities or having background knowledge of how to set up a database or how to delete or even add tables in your database. The local WP software does it all for you. So over here, I'll enter in my password to confirm that it's me actually adding a site. Okay, cool. Now it looks like we have installed WordPress on our local computer without a domain and without a host. This is how my website looks like. Uh, it's using the Nginx server. I can still switch to another one. PHP version is that 7.3.5. The database is on MySQL. And then the WordPress version is this over here. Database details are all over here. And the utilities and other tools. So in case you want to view how your website looks like, you can simply just say open site. 
and this will open up your WordPress website just as it is. At the moment, it has the default 2021 theme installed, just like any other WordPress installation when you have it installed on your server for the very first time. So in this case, what we are going to do is we are first of all going to come to the admin area and we are going to enter in our username and we'll enter in the password and boom, here we are in the back end. Down over here, when you go to appearance, themes, you realize that the 2021 theme is installed and activated, which is what we're seeing over right here. Of course, you can add your other themes, like for example, add a new theme. And over here, then local will connect to the internet and enable you to select or search for a theme that you want. For example, if I want Astra theme, I can search for it. I can install, then I can activate. Once the Astra theme is activated, when I come back now to our website, I'm going to simply reload and you see, boom, our website has changed simply because we have also switched the theme. And uh, one thing maybe to note is that also for the plugins, you can still come over here and say add a new plugin. And then you are able to search for a plugin of your choice, install and activate. So when you are building your website using local WP, your website will have a unique domain or URL which will be ending with .local. So you look over here, this is travel-monster.local. Now if it's another website, for example, when I come over here to one of my other websites, I'm going to activate. So I simply just say start site, then I open up this website. You realize that now this website is having a very different domain which is wp-offline.local, which is the URL for that specific website on my computer locally. Now, the other thing that we have to note is that when you open up your local WP, of course you can start a website, you can stop a website. Now that means that it will not be running even when someone opens up that URL in their browser. For example, when I come over here and say WP offline dot local, since this website is stopped on local WP, when I open it up, it will not open up simply because it's not running locally. Then the other thing that you have to note is that you can delete a website project. For example, I can simply just say delete this and this will move this website to the trash. It means that I'm unable to recover that once I confirm that I've deleted. At the same time, you can stop all websites at once or you can add even more other projects locally on your computer. So once you are done creating your website and you're comfortable with whatever you've done, then there are two things you'd like to check out. One is the live link option that enables you to create a special link that you can easily share to your clients anywhere and they are able to preview what you're working on locally. That means that your computer should be connected on the internet to create a live link you simply enable over here and then you can simply copy that link. Then you can share that special link to your client wherever they are. Then once everything is fine and neat and you want to move your website to the internet to be hosted, or to be accessed by anyone else on the internet using your domain name, then you can easily connect to a host. And you have two limited options of Flywheel and of course WP Engine. In case you're not using any of these hosts, then you're going to check out the link in the card or in the description box below on how you can easily migrate your local WP website to any of your other hosts. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now I hope that you have an idea on how you can actually work on your WordPress projects locally and then you are able also to share your projects with your clients wherever they are and then they can preview them even before you get a domain and a host. Also, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but also subscribe into the newsletter so that you don't miss out any other updates whenever I push them out. Also, if you subscribe to my newsletter, you'll be able to receive an ebook, which is a toolkit for beginners in WordPress that can help them get better as they get started. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, or even subscribe to the channel. Have a good time and goodbye.